Why do you reject the comparison, the compliment from President Obama this week when he says Obamacare based on Romney care and that's the right way to go? Well, I think the president failed to learn the lessons that came from the experience in Massachusetts. Uh, first of all, uh, the, the Massachusetts experience was a state-run plan. The right way to deal with health care reform is not to have a one-size-fits-all plan that's imposed on all the states, but recognizing the differences between different states and their populations, states should be able to craft their own plans to get all their citizens insured and to make sure that pre-existing conditions are covered. And there's some other differences. In Massachusetts, we phased in the requirements so that there was a slow rollout. That way you could test the systems as you went along to make sure there wouldn't be glitches. And perhaps the most important lesson the president, I think, failed to learn was you have to tell the American people the truth. And when he told the American people that you could keep your health insurance if you wanted to keep that plan, period, he said that time and again, right. he wasn't telling the truth. But and Governor, I think, on the, on that, I think point, that fundamental dishonesty has really, has really put in peril the whole foundation of his second term. On that point, we are talking about a small piece of the individual market, about 5%. And in your law in Massachusetts, there were also minimum requirements for health plans in order to qualify for uh, health insurance in, in Massachusetts. And the reason for that is so that you had basic plans that didn't allow pre presumably young and, and healthier people not to be adequately covered because if they ended up getting a condition, the rest of the people have to pay for it. That hurts your risk pool. Well, we, we could talk about the technical differences between the Massachusetts plan and the federal plan, but the key, I think, that has really undermined the president's credibility in the, in the hearts of the American people is that he went out as a centerpiece of his campaign and as a centerpiece of Obamacare over the last several years saying time and time again that fundamental to his plan was the right people would have to keep their insurance plan, and he knew that was not the case. He could, he could know it by looking at Massachusetts and seeing people there lost insurance. He could have learned those lessons and told the people the truth, but he didn't. Let me, he told people they could keep their plan. And, and, you know, it was NBC News that said, look, some six million people are going to lose their insurance. That's not some little number. That's, that's six million the American comparison people. comparison to Massachusetts, though, really comes down to two major points. If you, uh, a lot of people don't have health insurance because they can't afford it, so you have to have subsidies. That's what you did in Massachusetts. And in order to make sure your risk pool is right, you have to have enough young and healthy people in it uh, so that ultimately health care is affordable for those who are older and are sicker. That's the mandate. You had it in Massachusetts. That's the federal system. So you say it should only be done at the state level, but here's what you said on Meet the Press back in 2007 about the idea of the mandate. I want to play it and get your reaction. I think you're going to find, when it's all said and done, after all these states that are the laboratories of democracy get their chance to try their own plans, that those who follow the path that we pursued will find it's the best path. And we'll end up with a nation that's taken a, a mandate uh, approach. You don't believe all the states should have adopted this, but you do believe that the entire nation should take a mandate approach. If it was good for Massachusetts, what's so wrong with taking it national? Well, what I said there was uh, precisely right, which is that each state should be able, through the laboratory democracy model, to put in place the plan that works best for them. And if they adopt the Massachusetts plan, terrific. If they adopt a different plan, that's also fine. But recognize Massachusetts teaches some important lessons some states are not going to want to follow. One lesson is health insurance is more expensive in Massachusetts than anywhere else in the country. Now, that's something that Texas and Minnesota and uh, Montana are not necessarily going to want to adopt. And you're going to see, as a result of Obamacare, premiums going up dramatically across the country. And again, going back to the, I, I think the key thing that the president is trying to get away from, and that is that he told people they could keep their insurance, and that was not the truth. And whether you like the model of Obamacare or not, the fact that the president sold it on a basis that was not true has undermined the foundation of his second term. I think it's rotting it away. And I think the only way he can rebuild credibility is to work with Republicans and Democrats and try and rebuild a foundation. We've got to have a president. We've got to have a president that can lead. And right now, he's not able to do so. But I mean, that's very strong language. You're saying that the way he, he pitched your ability to keep a plan will, uh, will undermine his entire second term. 
But how do you know uh, no, that there's one, no question once they once assuming they get the site up and working, that's a big assumption at this point. But if that happens, how is it that in the end, the same approach that you took in Massachusetts with regard to subsidies, with regard to a mandate, why don't you think that could ultimately be successful? Well, what's going to happen is that people are going to lose insurance. You're going to have but millions some people, of individuals But some people lose will get better plans. Plan. Some people will end up saving money in the plans. And yes, some people will, play, will pay more. Again, that was also the case in Massachusetts. Well, that, that may well be the case. But the reality is that was not what was sold with Obamacare. Obamacare barely made it through Washington, as you know. And, and there's no question in my mind, but had the president been truthful and told the American people that millions would lose their insurance and millions more would see their, their premiums skyrocket, had he told them that at the time it was going through Washington, there would have been such a hue and cry against it, it would not have passed. Look, you, you begin with honesty. We can talk about what's the right plan. And, and there are aspects of the Massachusetts plan I think other states would be wise to adopt. There are probably aspects that states will say, I don't want that. i got a better idea. Let them try those things. But imposing something that in some ways resembles what we did in Massachusetts on the entire nation is not something, and particularly doing it, by the way, in a dishonest way without telling people what was entailed, is something the American people are rejecting Governor overwhelmingly.